referred pain can be into the groin and into the genitals in the male, into the scrotum, into the woman, into the labia. Hello, my name is Simeon Neil Asher and in terms of the trigger points of the week this week, I thought we'd explore uh, genital pain, um, uh, sort of visceral genital pain and trigger points. Now, of course, it's a little bit of a taboo subject, um, and but, but recently I've seen a few uh, patients come in with testicular pain of unknown origin and treated them using trigger points uh, successfully. So I just thought it's a, an interesting topic to cover, hopefully something you'll find helpful. Um, so let's start from the beginning. There are two muscles that I've found to be uh, very useful in terms of the trigger points for treating these symptoms. So, so let's have a search. The first one is the actually the adductor magnus. So in terms of the adductor magnus, let's just explore the anatomy. We have the uh, obturator foramen there. Um, so in terms of the anatomy, uh, it takes its origin from the anterior part of ramus of the pubic bone and also some from the ischial tuberosity uh, and it inserts all the way down uh, the linear um, aspera of the uh, femur uh, and of course it has that obturator uh, foramen inside it. it. It's a long big muscle and of course it's, a, it's an ab adductor of the hip. So adductor magnus. So in terms of the trigger point pain map um, the pain map tends to be uh, through the sort of, an, sort of anteromedial aspect of the thigh. Um, uh, the trigger points uh, basically there, we have like the gracilis and we have, of course, the adductor longus and magnus and, and the brevis. So you have to sort of be able to sort of differentially diagnose where you're feeling that type taut band. But I've been using a combination of uh, inhibition compression and uh, um, or used to be called ischemic compression and, and needling sometimes into the muscle um, and using those techniques have managed to to help people that are coming in with uh, testicular pain the other muscle that I thought is that, that I found very helpful is the oblique externus so the obliquus externus uh, has a very uh, wide ranging pain map uh, including down into the urogenital area, the genital area, both in males and females. In fact, it's worth saying that I think the adductor um, is very much connected with, with genital pain in females, postpartum, pelvic inflammatory disease pain as well. Um, and I think the reason why is to do with the embryology, actually, because if you think about it, the, the, the foot and the, the muscles of the lower extremity come down through the pelvis and drag the fascia of the pelvis as the feet uh, sort of migrate embryologically from the pelvic floor. So, so they drag the fascia with it. So I believe that that's one of the fascial or myofascial connections. Uh, similarly with the abdominis, the external oblique, um, we can see that um, it takes its uh, origin from the lower eight ribs and it goes into the iliac crest, part of the abdominal aponeurosis, linear uh, aspera, no, linear alba course sorry uh, and um, yeah and, and it goes in, in towards the sternum as well so so um, the external oblique as I said a very extensive pain map including down into the genital area I thought we'd just hear a little bit from Dr. Bob Gerwin about that um, and the trigger points of the lower part of the oblique so here's Dr. Gerwin we'll just uh, find him here the referred pain from the obliques and transversus is pleomorphic, meaning it can be found anywhere over the ab abdomen. Referred pain can be found in the epigastrium. Referred pain can be into the groin and into the genitals in the male, into the scrotum, into the woman, into the labia. Pain in the abdominal muscles or abdominal muscle trigger points also develop in what is called a viscerosomatic pain syndrome. In some circumstances, for example, in situations where a woman has dysmenorrhea and then develops another visceral pain syndrome, there can be a visceral, visceral somatic pain syndrome with hyperalgesia of the abdominal muscles. 
So the, the oblique muscle and the adductors uh, are, are certainly worth exploring uh, if a patient comes in with unexplained sort of genital pain. Uh, again, uh, as Dr. Gerwin explained, you can also have viscero, viscerosomatic reflexes and, and, and a, a whole range of sort of neurological phenomenon there. So I hope you found that useful today. Um, thanks very much for watching a video. If you can like us, that would be great. I wanna thank again, Jonathan for all his hard work in preparing this. Uh, and thank you for taking the time to be with us. We've got a whole range of videos now on trigger points. Feel free to explore that and share it with your friends. Uh, and thank you very much for watching us. Bye.